This video, the second in the Getting Started series, will guide you through the Fusion interface. Topics covered include the user interface, setting units, changing preferences, and using pan, zoom, and orbit functionalities. The Fusion interface features workspaces in the upper left corner, which divide its functionality into areas like design, simulation, manufacture, drawings, and electronics. This organization simplifies the user experience. Within each workspace, further subdivision exists at the top through submenus such as solid, surface, mesh, sheet metal, and others. The data panel is also located in this area. It allows you to view your projects and manage the viewing and loading of your designs. The data panel will be discussed in a future video in this series. The primary toolbar contains main menus such as Create, Modify, Assemble, Configure, and Inspect, to name a few. Each main menu displays its available commands. Observe that some commands have corresponding keyboard shortcuts, such as E for Extrude, and H for whole. Additionally, certain commands feature flyout submenus, like pattern. The structure browser, located on the left, displays and organizes your assembly's components and parts. Here, you can toggle the visibility of parts, activate components, and rearrange the assembly structure. Expanding the Document Settings flyout, as indicated by the gear icon, allows you to configure the length and mass property units for the current design. The timeline, located at the bottom of the screen, displays the features or the steps used to construct each component. It allows you to revisit and modify your design features, such as sketch dimensions, shell thicknesses, and fillet radiuses. You can think of it like a step-by-step -step recipe of how the part was designed. The main viewport displays a 3D representation of your design, whether it's a single part or a complete assembly. Let's create a simple box to learn how to navigate the viewport. Go to the Create menu and then select Box. Select an orange plane to specify the drawing surface then click to define the first corner, and again to define the opposite corner of the box. Confirm by clicking OK in the box dialog. To pan, hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse. To zoom, scroll the middle mouse wheel away from you to zoom out, or towards you to zoom in. Notice that the zooming is centered on the mouse cursor's position. And to orbit, hold down the Shift key and the middle mouse button to rotate the model and view it from different angles. You can also orbit the view by dragging the cube located in the viewport's upper right corner. Clicking different faces of this cube allows you to view your design from the top, the front, side, or an isometric view. Select the home icon to restore the view and fit your design back into the screen. At the bottom of the viewport are the settings icons where you can set visual styles, such as shaded or wireframe. You can also change the environment background to set different background themes. The Graphics Effects menu allows you to show things such as shadows, anti-aliasing, or reflections. By turning some of these on or off, it can affect the performance of your machine. Object Visibility allows you to toggle what work features are displayed in the viewport. In the Camera Settings, it's best to choose the Perspective with Ortho Faces option. This setting provides the most realistic 3D view of your design. 
Additionally, it automatically switches to an orthographic view when you're looking directly at one of the planar faces of the cube, such as front or top. The Preference menu can be accessed by clicking on your avatar or initials in the upper right corner of Fusion. This menu is organized into several sections on the left and allows you to customize various settings, including default modeling orientation and automatic save on close. Under the Design section, there are many options you might find useful. One being Scale Entire Sketch at First Dimension. More information about each setting can be found by hovering over it and reading the tooltip. You can also set what the default units for all designs should be. Now that you're familiar with the user interface, the next video will explain how to begin sketching in Fusion.